my good people good evening welcome back to our very channel good afternoon good up uh, good morning all depending on where you are hearing us from today my heart is bleeding like i am heavy in the heart because of what i just saw online what is that checking the picture you can see the women tying two rappers these are Igbo women chased out from their central land in enugu they are now in IDP camps. <laughs> that IDP camps you are hearing in Mediguri, Bronu, Bednue, and all that. It is in Enugu, not one, not two. Uh -huh. These are the things, the secrets that they are keeping from you so that you will not hear. But trust us, we will dig it out. We will dig it out. All thanks to Bro Ugo. Yes. It brought our attention to that. IDP camps in Enugu. Our women chased out from their homes. These are poor people. People that don't have who is speaking for them. Fulani chased them out. Nigerian army chased them out. Two community, about four communities in Imo have been chased out from their ancestral lands. With the aid of Hopo Zodema, and the Nigerian army chase them out totally, all right, so that army will replace them with people they want. Yes, this is the atrocity that is happening in Nigerian government, right from Buhari government. Now these things are coming out because Buhari, Abakari, these people are gone, all right. Now their atrocities live on. What do you think that will happen to these women? In the night okay look at what they are using as their own you know shelter if you go to Benue IDP camps or if you see the pictures of Benue IDP camps or northern IDP camps at least you will see roof over their head but this one no roof over their head they are just using white clothes to make something like tent for themselves Buruburu did not care this happened in his tenure Omahi did not care. This happened during Omahi's tenure. They covered it. They did as if they did not hear. These are the people that are telling you that their problem is for you to stop sit at home. Stop sit at home, shut up and stop making noise about Namdekano so that they will overpower him, so that they will silence him, so that nobody will notice when they will silence him. That is the problem. And I stand here to tell you that anybody that is telling you that Sita Tom is his problem, check that person very well. If it's a DOS, DOS, check the person well. They are the people that sold Namdekano. Today, I had uh, Mazen Namdekano's wife telling the DOS that went to Finland, oh, we are very happy. We I am very, very happy that you people made it to Finland. What is her problem with Finland? And why would that word happiness come out of her mouth at this point in time? When other people are crying, mourning, you know, being embittered because of the condition of Mazinam de Kano, Ukuro Nibo, the guy that speaks for his people the guy that wants to die for his people the love in his heart should be commended but a wife of his youth is telling us that she's happy if sit at home stops today if sit at home stops today without them they cannot be released how else are you going to protest about his release if you come out to protest, of course, you die in numbers. All Igbo youths receive in return is gunshots. The one that happened in Abai is not far. Or have you forgotten? You know, we forgot very easily. That is why we don't keep records. And that is why they want to wipe out history from curriculum. So that everybody will be zombie, total mugu. Those that don't know where they are coming from. 
they would definitely not know where they are going to. All right? So, if sit at home stops today and then I'm the can is not released, that means they've silenced you. You don't have any other how to ask for his release. The elders, they, when they go to Abuja, they will sit them down on the floor. These politicians kneel down to beg Fulanese. Now they have turned it to Yoruba people. They kneel down to beg them. They say a lot of things just to make sure that Yorubas are not angry with Igbos. Just to make sure that Tunubu is very happy. Whatever Tunubu wants to hear is what they want to say. It does not matter how Yorubas deal with Igbo or not. It doesn't matter to them. It doesn't matter to them how many shops are burnt down. Now let me break this news. If you are a roadside person that sells markets, Lagos State is coming hard on you. Very, very hard. No street trading. No more. No hawking. No more. We are talking about those that eat from hand to mouth. They say you should go home. Stop trading or hawking. They have put what their fine should be. So you will choose either to go your, to your village or to pay the fines or to stop and then die in hunger. Three options. This is a way to tell the poor, leave Lagos now. Because I know not everybody has shop. How, how much do you have to rent a shop? And what will be the goods in the shop after renting it? So many people can't actually afford it. All right? They can't afford it. And these are the people that Lagos want to chase out. What should we say and leave the rest? If IDP camp has started in Enugu, why do you want to stop it at home? And then why not contributing money for ESN, for them to be sustained, for more guns, for them to go and combat those that chase you out of your central lands? Why didn't you come up to social media? Why didn't you go and borrow phone and announce to us that so, so, so time, so, so, so time, they have set up IDP camps. They chased us from ancestral land. Can't you mention the name of your village on phone and send out message so that we'll push you. We'll push your message to go viral for you. You kept quiet like Mugu and you are in IDP camps. No roof over your head. No food. They said they budgeted for them 1.3 million for the whole year. Mm -hmm. These are people that have children. These are people that some of them are pregnant. I'm telling you, what is warranting Igbos to, to be chased out from their ancestral land and everybody's keeping quiet? I want you to raise your voice up very high for these people. Let the others know. Let the politicians know. Let Biafra Liberation Army know. Let ESN know. Let Ifanyoba, let Omahe, Uruburu, all of them, should, they should know that mothers actually give birth to those people they've pushed to the bush because of their zeal for continuation of one Nigeria. These are criminals, I tell you. I tell you, please drop your comments on this news, like and share our videos.